Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we have a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. UC Davis, 18th in the country, hosting the 2-2 two two Northern Colorado Bears. Eric Tavares is going to have to be suspended here though, plagiarizing. He's going to be out for three games, so Darius Mitchell will get the start and full-time carries at halfback. We'll see some Jada Streets here as well, two-star freshman halfback in the backfield. Now UNC gets the football first. I know uh, we usually see the opening kickoff, but you know, there was a drop frame, there were a bunch of them, so we missed it. But here we are, Bears on offense first. This is a full broadcast game, so strap yourselves in, folks. There's Darrell Stats. Nice carry for the quarterback, and he is gonna pick up um, a first down up to the 48 yard line. That'll get him over 450 yards on the ground this season. Gavin Brady in at halfback right now. Not sure why. And they're gonna go option again. Stats, he's gonna be dropped. That'll be a loss of one yard. Elijah Christian on the tackle. That'll bring up second down and 10 now for the Northern Colorado Bears against the 18th ranked UC Davis Aggies who are 4-1 on the season, having a pretty good year. And here is um, Gavin Brady again. And he'll get a seven yard carry. So not a bad carry there for the fullback. Brady with just 76 yards rushing coming into this game with one touchdown on the season. He has 322 for his career and three scores. Third down and three, big play. Gavin Brady still in at halfback. I'm not sure where Darius Mitchell is. And they are going to hand it off to Brady again. He breaks the tackle from Caleb Chubb and picks up the first down. Oh, my goodness. That is some strength right there, folks, against one of the top ten defenders in the FCS dynasty. So first down, moving the chains. Let's take a quick look at the Bears offense. And most of this team... All of these subscriber players are on offense. We've got Darrell Stats at quarterback, four-star freshman quarterback Aiden Davis, junior halfback Darius Mitchell, sophomore halfback Eric Tavares, Jada Streets, Gavin Brady at fullback, Howard Bresnigal at wide receiver, Smokey Callahan at tight end, and at tackle we have Mike Heath and Will Jefferson, and to round out the offense with Sebastian Hernandez, a sophomore center. And Hernandez has not allowed a sack in his entire career which is just astounding. And here is Brady again. They give it to him on the option. He continues to break tackles, but he's going to lose another yard here. And again, I'm still not sure why Darius Mitchell is not on the field right now. He is the number two halfback. Mitchell and Tavares split carries. They are one of the most deadly duos in the nation. And here is Stats getting it up to the 34-yard line. Nice run for him. He's got... 24 yards on three carries. Good for an eight-yard average here today. And let's see how many he has in his career. 1,325 yards rushing, 15 touchdowns for the sophomore quarterback. We're going to see Aiden Davis here get some playing time as well. He is in on a couple formations. Darius Mitchell in the backfield. Finally, we see him almost three minutes into the ball game. Third down and 14. Cut and set. They go option. Davis is going to pitch it out, and Mitchell picks up the first down. And that gets him over 400 rushing yards for the season, over 1,600 for his career. He also has 12 touchdowns. And an interesting stat for him, he's only got one catch all season, just three in his career. Kevin yeah, Brady back in at halfback. Stats option up the middle. First down, he pitches it out to Brady, who stiff arms the defender. And Gavin Brady is to the house. Touchdown, Bears. And they take the early lead, 7-0 over the UC Davis Aggies. Nice 29 yard touchdown run for the sophomore fullback. That gets him over 100 yards rushing for the season. And again, showing just fantastic strength against a very solid defense. I haven't even gone over the defenders yet for UC Davis, but we'll get into that next time they're on the field. Time for the extra point, Johnny Ligurski, two star freshman kicker. And that is up and good. He is two of two on the season for field goals, along with 49 and three for, or four for four now on extra points. 
So the Bears strike quick. How will the Aggies respond? Owen Black, the quarterback, coming out on the field. Number 18, sophomore. And he has so many yards in his career. Over 4,000 total yards. 2,900 passing. Over 1,200 rushing. And 44 total touchdowns. The rest of the offense for UC Davis is Ashley Jackson, three-star freshman quarterback. And at halfback, Tyreek Taylor, Lito Lozano, and three-star freshman Wyatt Geddes. And they do not have any offensive linemen. So the rest of the offense is Sam Gallen, who is the offensive captain, and Jaquan Brown, both at wide receiver. Gatlin, no touchdowns so far this year. Brown with two on just four catches. Tyreek Taylor has been the bell cow here this season for the Aggies. And Black's going to throw it. He's picked off on the first pass attempt of the game. And that's a pick six for Gonzalez. He is a freshman halfback who is out here playing some defense this year for the Bears because they are real thin. And obviously at halfback, he's going to have some good hands. And he showed them right there. Owen Black, not a good start for him. His third pick of the season, 19th for his career. And my goodness, it is already going to be 14 to nothing here with a Ligurski extra point. This is not how you want to start if you're the Aggies. And the Discord Pick'em had the Aggies as favorites, 17 votes to 10. So far, it's not looking good for the Aggies. But it is first quarter. There's plenty of time left in this ballgame. But if you have been following this season so far, the home teams in the subscriber versus subscriber matchups have not fared well at all. We saw the Tigers of Savannah State get blown out by Jacksonville. And then we watched Jacksonville get blown out by Cal Poly. So we'll see if a home team can get in here and get a win. But it's a rough start right now for first-year head coach Jet Christie and this young team. They have a stacked defense. They just need some more help on the offensive side of the football with recruiting. But that will come this offseason, hopefully, for them. But they're up, off to a 4-1 start this year. So, pretty good start. They're in the top 25. They're in Pac-10 play right now. Looking for a conference championship for the first time in school history. Black going to throw it again. This time it's caught, but is he in bounds? That is Leo Lozano. And they said he was not in bounds. And with that, we'll take a quick look at the Northern Colorado Bears defense. And it is... Deacon Cooper and Bully Cooper, the free safety and strong safety of this squad. That is it for subscriber players on the defensive side. And here's Owen Black on the option. He'll pitch it out. Tyreek Taylor in the open field. Look out all the way to the 40-yard line. Tyreek Taylor has been an absolute monster this season for the Aggies. And on the tackle is Deacon Cooper, the free safety. That'll be his 27th tackle this season. He also has three forced fumbles. Taylor over 500 rushing yards this season, seven touchdowns. That run right there actually got him over 1,000 for his career. On the option, that play is snuffed out from the start. Gibbs on the tackle, non-subscriber defensive lineman. And the Bears' defense looking pretty good so far. Freshman out there making an interception on defense. I think he's playing right outside, or left outside linebacker actually. Well, he might be the corner on that side. I believe he's the linebacker. That run goes nowhere. It's third down and ten. As I sip on my apple cider because, you know, it's fall, folks. It's cider season. Third down and ten. Taylor is on fire. Black all day to throw. Throws it right side. What a play. And that is number eight again. Deacon Cooper, his first pass deflection of the season. That was a great one. Laid out for that. And now the Bears have an opportunity here to go up three scores. And that is not what the Aggies want to happen right now. In the first quarter, that punt is almost blocked. That's the closest I've ever seen a punt to being blocked in this series. Darius Mitchell up the left sideline on the return. Tyreek Taylor can't get him. Darius Mitchell is gone. Oh, my goodness. Darius Mitchell with his second career punt return for a touchdown. And there's an injury on the play. Hopefully he's okay and can return. That is a tight end for the Aggies. And they are thin at the 
tight end spot. So huge play, 83-yard touchdown return off the punt from junior halfback Darius Mitchell. Wow, unreal. And this is 14th total touchdown in his career, and that is a big one. It's 21 to zero here in the first quarter, folks. If any of you said that this was gonna happen, I, I didn't see it. I think you're lying to me. This is just insane right now. 21 nothing. Northern Colorado does have a winning record against other subscriber teams, so I don't know why anyone would really count them out. They have something going for them, and it's been working. The Aggies, on the other hand, are one and two in sub versus sub games, so they have had a little bit of a rough time in these ball games. And on the return, this is going to be knelt down in the end zone. Wyatt Geddes doesn't want any part of that return. Can the Aggies settle in and get a drive going here? Get some points on the board. They got to get their ground game working, and they do have both of their halfbacks in there in the backfield with Owen Black. And they are going to hand it off to Lozano on the draw. That play is stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Second down and 12 upcoming. These are situations that you do not want to be in if you're the Aggies. They are not known for throwing the football that well. That is no knock on Owen Black. That is just how the offense has been built. He is an exceptional runner. And so is this man right here, Tyreek Taylor, carrying defenders. He's going to pick up maybe five yards up the gut. And that'll bring up third down and eight. They give him credit for four yards on that run. So big play right here. If they don't get this, this game could get ugly quick. In the shotgun, Taylor to the left of Black. And Black will try to throw it. He's going to take off, and he's dropped for the sack. Jada Streets gets the sack. Two-star freshman halfback out here playing some defense. And he comes up big right there. Black had a lot of space in front of him on the left side. First career sack for the halfback, Jada Streets, folks. He has made quite an impact so far this season with the very few amount of touches that he's had. Three catches, 84 yards, and two touchdowns. And he also has 33 rushing yards this season as well. But the Bears trying to get him more involved. And here is Mitchell on another punt return. He does not score this time. He's dropped at the 43-yard line. And we will see the Northern Colorado Bears offense take the field yet again. Now, they are without their sophomore tight end, Smokey Callahan. He'll be out for another five weeks. Here is Stats on the option. A lot of space in front of him. And he back jukes and gets it up to the 34-yard line. Nice move. As that gets him over 40 yards rushing here today. And yeah, just great blocking downfield as well by Howard Bresnigale. Not really known for big plays in the receiving game, but he does block quite well on run plays. First quarter winding down. It's 21-0. Aggies getting shocked here in their home stadium. Darius Mitchell in the backfield, two tight end set for the Bears. Aiden Davidson at quarterback now, and he'll go option. He pitches it out. Mitchell, two blockers in front of him. He cuts to the inside, and he cuts into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Darius Mitchell is going off right now. Over 100 total yards for him. Two scores here today. Filling in for his partner in crime, Eric Tavares, who is suspended for a few games. And look at the blocking downfield. Howard Bresnigal seals the corner. And these young freshman cornerbacks, who, again, I still have not gone over the defense for the Aggies, but the two freshman corners are Zach Pryor and R.J. Simons, both four-star talents. Zach Pryor, of course, anointed the defensive captain in the preseason. And I believe it was a touchdown on his side right there. But just a lot of work for these young defenders going forward. It's 28-0 here in the first quarter. Still a lot of game left. I'm not sure if the Aggies offense is built towards these comebacks. But that remains to be seen. They need some help from their defense as well. One of the top 10 defenses in the country and they are getting absolutely shredded right now by the Bears. Ligurski on for the kickoff. 
He's got a really big leg, and he kicks it way into the end zone. My goodness, about six yards deep. And Zach Pryor just kneels that one down. The Eggs will take over on offense at their own 20-yard line as they look to get something going here, trying to get on the board for the first time in the game. the middle to Lozano. He'll pick up a few yards. That is going to be it for the first quarter, folks. 28-0 Bears of Northern Colorado on top of the 18th ranked UC Davis Aggies. If you are interested in having a player in this series, we have 12 schools to choose from. Bryant Bulldogs, the Cal Poly Mustangs, Dayton Flyers, Jacksonville Dolphins, North, uh, North Dakota State Bison and of course the Bears right now who are just having their way with the Aggies and we have Savannah State we have San Diego Southern Utah who else who am I missing I feel uh, who am I? I, I really feel like I'm missing somebody right now and it's gonna hurt my feelings if I can't remember Aggies looking to throw it here Black taking a deep shot again. This pass is deflected away. Deacon Cooper flying all over the field right now. Uh, UC Davis and VMI are the other two schools. I believe that's all 12 of them. I don't really have like a list right in front of me, so forgive me. Mitchell on for the punt return again. Right sideline. Look out, folks. Darius Mitchell. He's gone again. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Two punt returns for scores today for Darius Mitchell. That'll give him three for his career. That was a 62 yard of the previous one was 83 yards. And, folks, it is about to be 35 to 0. And the crowd is still loud here in the Aggie Stadium. Ligurski on for the extra point. And he is 5 of 5 today. This is an absolute shellacking right now by the Bears. Uh, I'm not sure we'll see an upset or a, a comeback here today. We're seeing an upset. But again, there are basically three full quarters left. But everything the Bears are doing, they're just having their way with them. Ligurski on for the kickoff for what seems like the 20th time today. And Wyatt Geddes is going to kneel this one down in the end zone. And again, we're going to see Owen Black in this offense try to get something going. I might have to, uh, I might actually be able to get over this uh, on the defense here. I haven't even said one word about <laughs> the lineup on defense for the Aggies. Because the Bears drives have just been so quick today. Black under center, and they're going to try to keep throwing it here. Left side deflected away. Number 36, the intended target. That is a non-subscriber player. And if I was the Aggies, I would just keep trying to pound the rock right now. Give it to Taylor. Get Lozano and get us involved. You don't need to throw the football right now. There's still plenty of game left. Here is Lozano, and he's in the open field. He'll pick up 12 yards. Deacon Cooper makes the stop at the 32-yard line. Have yet to see Bully Cooper make an impact here today. Deacon Cooper has been flying around like Superman here today. And they're going to come out with a two tight end set. Tyreek Taylor behind Black. They will hand it off to Taylor who bounces to the outside and Bolton Cooper comes up and makes the play right on cue. Nice tackle and that'll stop Taylor from gaining any yards. We have Wyatt Geddes in the backfield now. He's going to be dropped for a loss of one yard on the play. And... Basically, they're just doing the same play out of different formations right now, and that's not really going to get you far either. 0 for 3 on third down conversions, and it's because of reasons like this. It is third down and 10. They cannot be in situations like this with the type of offense that they run. Black will try to throw it, 
And he throws it up left side, intended for Sam Gatlin. That is incomplete, and the Bears get another stop against the Aggies. If the Bears hold on, this would be a huge victory for them and will give them a lot of momentum going into the next part of the season. But they started their Pac-10 play in Week 4 against Sacramento State. They won that ball game. Mitchell does not get a touchdown return on that one. But they started their Pac-10 play Week 4 against Sacramento State. They won that one 45-41. to And right now, they're just coasting to a win, it looks like. But after this, it's mostly just Pac-10 play again and again. Their final game of the season, they'll be taking on Akron. But all the other games... Our conference games, look out, folks. Oh, my goodness. And that play's going to be called back. Holding on the offense. Let's take a look at the UC Davis Aggies schedule after this game. They take on Sacramento State in Week 8. They do get a Week 7 bye. And then they got Idaho State, San Diego, Eastern Washington, Northern Arizona, Southern Utah, who is 3-0 currently. So the rest of the Aggies schedule is Pac-10 games. Your stats on the option, keeps it himself. He wanted to pitch it out to Brady. He did not make the attempt. Second down and 14 now is a six yard pickup. Aiden Davis back in here at quarterback. He has more passing yards and stats on the season. Two touchdowns, two picks. He does have a rushing touchdown as well though. But stats, clearly a better runner. Almost 500 yards on the season. But here is Davis. And he will pick up, let's see how much they give him, maybe nine yards. And they do, they give him nine yards on that carry, longest run of his career. He came into the game with three yards rushing. Three twenty to go here in the first half, and that play gets blown up. And that was Andrew Jackson, his first tackle of the ball game. First tackle for a loss, third on the season. And with that, we will finally take a look at the Aggies' defense as they're about to get the ball back to their offense. Defensive line is Caleb Chubb at defensive tackle, Andrew Jackson and Demarcus Webb at defensive end, and the linebackers, outside linebacker Elijah Christian, middle linebacker Zachary Hyde, and here is the return from Wyatt Geddes. He'll break a couple tackles, nice hurdle. Gets it up past the 30-yard line. And the secondary for the Aggies is Zach Pryor, RJ Simons, too. Four-star freshman corners and free safety, Trey Henry the third, and four-star freshman strong safety, Everett Garrison. The Aggies wasting no time, but they're going to fumble the football. Taylor recovers his own fumble. That could have been a huge disaster. Gonzalez on the tackle right there. I'm not sure if he got the forced fumble or not, but if he did, he'll have a forced fumble and a pick six here today. Second down and ten. As the Aggies trying to salvage this game right now. They have to end this half with a touchdown drive. They just, they have to. Option play for Black in the open field. He'll pick up maybe eight yards. And I believe that was Gonzalez on the tackle again. And they'll give him credit for seven yards. So it is now third down and three from the 39-yard line. Aggies 0 for 4 today on third downs. Bears 2 of 3. And for the ground and pound attack of UC Davis, it is not good to be 0 for 4, but they do pick this one up. Lozano falls forward, and the Aggies move the chains for the third time here today. Home crowd loving it. They're just hoping and praying that their team can get back into this ball game, and they need a lot more of plays like that. From their own 43-yard line, two tight end set. Wyatt Geddes in the backfield. And here we go, play action, Black pressure, and that is picked off. Oh my goodness. Non-subscriber linebacker comes away with it. Unreal. That is just unfortunate for Owen Black. He throws it up, and it's deflected right into his hands. Oh my goodness. I feel sick for the Aggies right now. Man. Now, I recorded this game. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. 0 for 8. Two picks for Owen Black today. That is... That, that's... I don't even know. Wow. <laughs> that's no bueno. Mitchell looking to throw it now. 
And Darius Mitchell has a pass completion out to Jada Streets. That catch gets him over 100 yards for his career, which is just this season. <laughs> Man. But anyways, I recorded this game probably a over a month ago. This is my first time seeing any of it, and this is just insane. As Stats is on the option, he pitches it out to Brady. Stats probably could have kept that one himself and got the first down. That'll bring up second down and seven. I know it's been a long time since the FCS Dynasty has been on the channel. Over a month, I believe. But I don't think the... I think the Madden 20 experience didn't really garner a whole lot of attention for the channel like I wanted it to. And I've been having some other issues in my life go on. And here's an injury for RJ Simons. His chest on the play. That's no bueno again. Hopefully he is all right. That is going to be a huge loss for the Aggies secondary. Got to bring up third down and 10. As you see the Aggies third ranked defense in the nation. Just 240 yards allowed per game. Stats to throw. Deep shot. Left side. Deflected away. And that is Zach Pryor, the freshman corner, making a nice play. They hold the Bears to a field goal attempt here. Ligurski coming on the field for a 44-yard attempt. His long of his career is 49 yards. He is 2 of 2 for field goals. And the kick is up. And Ligurski boots that right through the middle. It's 38 nothing, folks. Just over two quarters left to play. Aggies have a long way to go here today. We haven't really seen Tyreek Taylor get many touches. And Black with two interceptions, zero completions today. That's not going to win you many ball games. Pryor and Geddes on for the returns. And Pryor actually has a turn for a touchdown this season. Why Geddes does not. He has a punt return for a score. And he takes this one out of the end zone, returns it up past the 20. And that was a pretty good return for the freshman halfback. Just 44 yards of offense for the Aggies. And that's that's rough. When you're a run-based team and you're forced to have to try to throw the football like this. There's just really no good outcome. And Black is definitely a capable passer, but and here he has a completion of the tight end. First down. Nice play. They move the chains. But Black just hasn't had a whole lot of time to throw the football here today. And not many players getting open as well. RJ Simon's abdominal strain. He'll just miss the rest of this ball game. So that is good news for the freshman. Black looking to throw again. Black pressure. He's hit as he throws and somehow completes it out to the tight end for a three yard pickup. Aggies calling all their timeouts right now. They got one left with 46 ticks left on the clock here in the second quarter. And they come out to tight end set. Black rolling out. He's going to be sacked again. That is three hurries, two sacks today with two picks as well. Head coach Michael Topps loving it right now. Head coach looking for his 10th victory of his career here today, and it looks like he's going to get it. Tyreek Taylor is on fire. Let's see if Black will try to toss it out to him. No, Black is going to be sacked once again. Gibbs on the sack, the right end, non-subscriber player. And that's probably going to be the final play of the first half. And the crowd is just dead silent right now. Nice little blitz there from the Bears. My goodness. I'm just going to keep sipping on my apple cider. And that is the end of the first half. 38-0. Northern Colorado Bears. Stunning <laughs> the 18th ranked Aggies in their own stadium. The Aggies do get the football first here in the second half. And they need to march down the field and get a touchdown quick. We've seen some pretty amazing comebacks in college football. Are we about to see another one? Stay tuned and find out, folks. 
Lagerski boots this one deep to Pryor. And he's going to return this one out of his own end zone. And gets it up past the 20 yard line to about the 22. Owen Black taking the field. Ended the first half with a couple completions. But before that, he was 0 for 8 with two picks. Just 50 yards of offense for UC Davis. They will start it out with a draw play. And Lozano, or excuse me, Tyreek Taylor gets crushed. And he fumbles for the second time today. My goodness. He is just not having a good time. This offensive line is being decimated by the Bears' defensive front. That'll bring up second down and 12 for the Aggies. And they keep getting in these second and third and long situations. And that is not helping out the quarterback at all. Second and 12, Lozano and Taylor next to Black in the shotgun. And Black is going to go option up the middle. A little quarterback draw here. And that went nowhere. Third down and 10. They're probably they're going to have to throw it again here unless they try, try an option play. An actual speed option or a triple option, which it doesn't look like they're going to be doing here. They're just one of six today on third down. Taylor's on fire. They go play action. And Black is sacked again. And I think that was Jada Streets, the two-star freshman halfback, making an impact today. His second sack of the ball game. And he just comes around the edge unblocked. Owen Black is going to need an ice bath after this ball game. Fourth down and 14. Aggies punting the football away again. Deep to return is Darius Mitchell. Two punt returns for scores today. And to return it from his own 33-yard line. And he's going to go up the right. And he'll be dropped at the 42-yard line. And the Bears, all they got to do is just run their offense. Just run the football. Take all the time off the clock as they can. Gavin Brady. Fullback is back there at halfback, and they'll hand it off to him. He's dropped by Andrew Jackson. Defensive end making a nice play there. Brady with 41 yards today and a touchdown, averaging 6.8 yards per carry. Outplaying Tyreek Taylor. Now the defense, despite the score, has not been playing that poorly. Three of the touchdowns are not against this defense. Got two special teams touchdowns for the Bears and a pick six. The defense has allowed 17 points here today. But an unreliable offensive line has really, really crushed their hopes of winning this ballgame. Third down and four for the Bears. They're two of four today. Gavin Brady is on fire. And they're going to go option play. Stats is going to have the first down easily. But he fumbles the football and is recovered by the Aggies. And I believe it's Caleb Chubb on the recovery. Number three, Trey Henry III forced it. And I believe it was recovered by Caleb Chubb. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But Trey Henry III, that is his fifth forced fumble of his career second this season. And if that was Chubb on the recovery, that'll be his first recovery of his career. First down and 10 for the Aggies. They finally get a break on defense. And Black going to throw it wide open. Right side, that's the tight end. He's got the first down and more. Picks up 17 yards. All three of those completions that he's had in a row have been to the tight ends. The non-subscriber tight ends. They need to score quicker than this. Taking too much time off the clock. And basically... They need six touchdowns here to win. Black looking to throw right side. It's caught by the tight end again. How is that not intercepted? Black fitting that into a tight window. Now four consecutive completions. Getting a little bit of momentum here. And that's just what the doctor ordered. The band is getting me hype right now. Bell, three catches, 48 yards. For the number one tight end on the team. And the number two tight end has the other catch. Black to throw again. There's the other. No, that is Sam Gallon. His first catch of the ball game. And tack on 15 yards at the end of the play. Gallon now with eight catches on the season. That was on Gonzalez. 
and halfback who had a pick six earlier on today. Michael Tops having a little bit of uh, conversation there with the referee. That was a pretty blatant face mask. Not sure what he has to argue about. First and goal from the nine yard line. Taylor and Lozano behind Black in the high formation. They'll hand it off to Lozano up the middle and to the three yard line. Nice run for the halfback. Lozano had over 1,300 rushing yards last season. But Tyreek Taylor was named the starting halfback here this season by first year head coach Jeff Christie. And here is Taylor punching it in for the Aggies. His eighth touchdown run of the season and 15th for his career. Finally, the Aggies get on the board. And just a simple handoff got him into the end zone. It's going to be 38 to 7 with the extra point here from Golden. Ashley Jackson, the three star freshman quarterback, on for the hold. Ashley Jackson, she does have two touchdown passes here this season with two picks. And of course, came in some cleanup duty and a blowout or two. Unfortunately for the Aggies, they are on the other end of a blowout here today 38 to 7. 239 left here in the third quarter. And the Bears set to return this kickoff. Darius Mitchell and Howard Bresnigal back to return the kick. Hope you guys have enjoyed this game so far. I know if you're an Aggie fan or player, you're not enjoying this one bit. And that kick goes out of the back of the end zone. And the Bears will take the field here on offense yet again. But I hope you guys are still enjoying it. I do love doing these full broadcast games. It's nice to just sit here and just, you know, watch a brand new football game I've never seen before and, and do the actual commentary on it like it's a live broadcast. It's quite fun for me. And stats on the option. He's going to fumble the football. And it's recovered by Gavin Brady, I believe. Nice recovery for the fullback. We'll see who forced that at the end of the game. If it was Andrew Jackson... That'll be his second forced fumble of his career, first this season. But they did show him on the screen. Second down and nine here for the Bears. Gavin Brady behind stats. And the option again. They pitch it out somehow to Gavin Brady. He's got the first down and more. Demarcus Webb can't bring him down. He's still going up past the 40-yard line. What a run from the fullback. My goodness, he's getting his time to shine, folks. Trying to be the next Mike Allstott here. For the, Ag or for the uh, Bears of Northern Colorado. Brady third out of the fullbacks for our subscriber players in rushing yards. First down at 10 and then option play again. Stats pitches it and he fumbles it backwards. And my goodness. Bears get lucky again. That'll bring up second down and 15. Stats in the shotgun, five wide receiver set. Take a look at Jada Streets there on the right side of your screen. Watch out for him on this play. Stats to throw, he goes left side instead. That's Howard Bresnagale. And he'll get it up to about the 45 yard line. Nice reception for him. Bresnagale with just five catches on the season. Option play here, and Stats pitches it out to Brady, and he's stopped short of the marker. Nice play by the Aggie defense. They come through again for this team. And then we're going to fourth down and four. See if the Aggies can't get in the end zone again here. Close that gap just a little bit more. Ligurski in there to punt the football away. He's a dual threat at kicker and punter. And this one's going to go out of the end zone here. Aggies at their own 20-yard line. Shotgun set. Taylor to the left of Black. Trying to do a little hot routing here for the receivers. 40 
few seconds left. Play action from Black. Throws it deep left side. Deflected away at the last second by Deacon Cooper. He has been all over the place. And Cooper, of course, not on the top 10 list for sophomore defensive backs. His brother, Bully, is in the top five. But there's just so many subscriber players to choose from for the EFL prospect pool as Lozano picks up a few yards here. But Deacon Cooper is definitely one of the top defenders. But there's just not enough room for him on that list. Got to try to diversify, guys. Get everybody on there from all sorts of different teams. Of course, the top two defensive back prospects are Allen Davidson and Marcus Pedersen from Jacksonville. Those guys are just too nasty. Lozano up the middle, first down, runs a man over, but he fumbles it again. Oh my goodness, so many fumbles. Jada Streets, I believe, is the man that got run over. He's injured his elbow on the play. And if he cannot return or is injured for more than just this game, that'll make the Bears really thin at halfback. That'll leave them with just Darius Mitchell and their fullback, Gavin Brady. Single back set, two tight ends. Tyreek Taylor gets the carry, and he goes nowhere. That'll end the third quarter, folks. It's 38 to seven, Bears on top. Tyreek Taylor is the seventh ranked EFL prospect for running backs or fullbacks. Jada Streets is out for four weeks. That is no good, folks. We will not see him until after Oh my goodness, what a run from Tyreek Taylor. Plows through the defender, carries a couple more up to the 48-yard line. But we will not see Jada Streets until after Eric Tavares comes back. So they're going to be pretty thin. Darius Mitchell's going to get his time to shine here for the Bears. And that's a big loss in the passing game as well for the Bears. And on defense, Streets, two sacks here today. And Black pressure. And gets rid of it, and it's caught. Nice play by Owen Black. Staying patient, finding an open man. Owen Black, the sixth-ranked prospect for quarterbacks in the EFL quarterback prospect pool. Not many players on the offensive side of the football for the Aggies on this list. Tyreek Taylor is on fire right now, and they'll hand it off to him. He breaks the tackle, but he gets absolutely lit up. And that is no game. Breaks one tackle, gets destroyed on the next one. My goodness. He ran into a brick wall right there. Speaking of brick wall, we do have a player with that name. On the San Diego Toreros. He is the 10th ranked offensive lineman prospect. If you want a chance at being one of the top EFL prospects, join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. You could be the next MJ Gator Jr. Heisman Trophy winner last season. His team struggling this year, but still a phenomenal talent. Aggies going for it here, fourth down and one. Crowd not happy, uh, I'm not sure why. They need to go for it. What else do they have to lose right now? The game is already finished. They will go for it, pitch it out, Lozano runs a man over, look out, Lito Lozano in the open field, up inside the 20 yard line, just 93 yards on the ground today, Aggies averaging over 200 plus, and the Bears, they've just had their way with them, Lozano a great run on the play. Nine plays, 61 yard drive right now, 220 off the clock. Tyreek Taylor on fire again. He's going to block for Lozano, and Lozano goes nowhere. Lozano with 359 yards rushing this season. Over 1,700 for his career. Definitely a solid halfback. Of course, the EFL, the Elite Football League, is in Madden 2006 where we have the truck stick. So our bigger halfbacks, uh, the halfbacks are gonna be higher rated than these smaller halfbacks in the prospect pool, most likely. Well, this is why Brandon Allen is rated higher than MJ Gator Jr. Allen is a much stockier back. He can break some more tackles. 
Third down and eight for the Aggies. Black looking to throw pressure, throws off his back foot, it's caught by Brown, his first catch of the game at the marker, does he get the first down? He did not pick it up, it is fourth down and one, Aggies just going to keep going for it here. Two tight ends set, Wyatt Geddes in at halfback, they'll hand it off to the freshman and he does not get it. The Bears get a big stop here inside the 10 yard line, what a... What a goal line stand right there. If you want to call it a goal line stand, they're inside the 10. I guess that counts, right? Aiden Davis now in a quarterback for the Bears. Just trying to run this clock out. They even have the 58th string halfback in there. And he'll lose a yard. Hyde on the tackle. 73rd of his career. That gives him five for this game. Second down and 11 upcoming from the seven yard line. And the Aggies defensive line is on fire right now. Caleb Chubb and Andrew Jackson. Look out folks on the right side and Caleb Chubb jumps off sides. Unbelievable. Jack Christie furious, fuming on the sideline. And I bet he's already looking forward to his week eight matchup at the Sacramento State Hornets to try to get this team back on track and in shape for maybe a Pac-10 championship run. Second down and six. Defensive line still on fire right now. And Davis just running this clock out as much as possible. And they will run it on the counter, but Davis has dropped before he could even hand it off. Andrew Jackson came through unblocked. They have given up 169 rushing yards here today. They average 29. It's safe to say the Bears could do whatever they wanted to do today. That'll bring a third down and 10 after a fantastic play from Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, the third ranked EFL defensive lineman prospect coming into this game. We'll do an updated rankings at the end of the season. Huge hit by Jackson again. That'll bring a fourth down at 10. Aggies get a big stop. But if you're wondering, you know, where can I see the EFL prospect pool lists in the Discord community, folks? Get in there. There will be a link in the live chat for this video. There's also a link on my channel home screen. You can click on the Discord icon. Back to return, White Geddes. From his own 32-yard line, returns it up the right side to the 49-yard line. Nice return for the freshman. And Johnny Ashley is getting up a little bit slow at the end of that play for the Bears. Well, it is safe to say that the Bears have won this ball game. Let's take a look at the Discord pick them and see who picked the Bears to win it. There were 10 of you. Colin Northrup, Joe Clark Jr., MJ Gator Jr., Chris Numa, Aiden Davis, State of Streets, Alexander Connor, Eric Tavares, Tyler Rocky, and Wooly Madden all selected the Bears to win this ball game, and it was pretty much over there in the first quarter. Nice play by Lozano, get it up to the 32-yard line there, and he's celebrating. And I'm not sure why you're getting blown up by 31 points in your own stadium against a conference opponent. So with this game, oh, here's a wide open pass down the right sideline. Jaquan Brown gets in for his third touchdown reception this season. Black now with six touchdown passes this year. And I don't know what's going on with the defense there. It's the backup. Somebody forgot how to football right there. So with this game, Northern Colorado improves to 3-1 and one in subscriber versus subscriber games in this series. Extra point is good for the Aggies, and the Aggies will drop to 1-3 and three in subscriber versus subscriber games. They dropped to 4-2 and two this season. The Bears improved to 3-2 and two on the year, looking for their second straight year of bowl eligibility. Last season, they won the Insight Bowl. 
I believe they beat San Diego State, if I'm not mistaken. They went seven and six last year. Aggies on for the onside kick attempt here. And that is easily recovered by the Bears. And they're just gonna run this football and get on out of here with the W. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, number nine, Cal Poly, will be hosting the one and two Idaho State Bengals. Cal Poly, two and one on the year. And that's a heavy favorite right there. 22 votes to one in the Discord. And the Bears lose a yard on that run. Sorry, I fell asleep right there, guys. My bad. My goodness. Second down and 11. Andrew Jackson on fire. Again on the right side of the screen. And that was keep pounding the rock. Andrew Jackson makes another tackle. He's just all over the place. And that'll bring up third down and eight for the Bears. And this could very well be the final play of the game. Bears two of seven today on third downs. But with all their backups in against the starting UC Davis defense, I, I don't see them getting this play. Davis running out the clock. Huge win here for the Bears. And they are not going to pick up the first down. But the Bears now 2-0 in Pac-10 play. The Aggies, one and one in Pac-10 play. And Ligurski on for the punt towards the left sideline. That's going to go out of the back of the end zone. Six seconds left on the clock. And with that, I would like to take this time to thank my Patreon supporters. Tom Schaefer, that's all we got right now. I appreciate you, buddy. Much love. But if you guys want to donate to the channel to help get other games on the channel or to get better equipment for the channel, you can donate. I'm not going to ask you to do it, but I do have a Patreon if you are interested in that. Second down and inches. The Aggies call their final timeout right there. I, I don't know why. Just get out of here. Just <laughs> focus on your next game. And they will hand it off. No, they will go play action. Black all day to throw. He finally gets a clean pocket. Right side to Jaquan Brown up to the 33-yard line. Owen Black will get 150 passing yards with that play right there. But this game is definitely over, folks. Aggies took out back behind the woodshed and just put to rest. 38-14 is the final score, and the Discord pick -em was wrong. The favored Aggies... Get beat by 24 points in their own stadium. The home teams have had a rough go of it in these matchups this season. And I'm not sure about last season, but definitely this year for sure they've had a rough go of it. Well, let's take a look. In week two, the sub versus sub game was Jackson over Savannah State. The Dolphins beat the Tigers 44-21 in that one. And in week three, let's see who played that week. It was Cal Poly beating up Jacksonville, 38-3 in Jacksonville. And then week four, we had another subscriber versus subscriber game. And that was South Dakota State traveling to take on the Terreros of San Diego. They beat them 28-21. And week five, we had another subscriber versus subscriber game. And it was Cal Poly traveling to VMI, and they destroyed them 35-10. to So it's nothing new here, folks. I'm not sure what's going on with the home teams, but they just have no edge at all. And I thought that it was probably because of the team that I use her at the beginning, just to get, you know, the camera angle that we have. But it hasn't always been me switching to the home team for that. So I, I just, I don't understand it. I mean, they're just having a rough go of it, guys. And these home teams got to figure it out. The next subscriber versus subscriber game will be in week number seven. And that will be, let's 
let's see who it is. San Diego will be traveling to take on Cal Poly. And Cal Poly has been fantastic in these games. Five and one so far in the series. And subscriber versus subscriber game. San Diego, one and three so far. So Cal Poly, definitely the best when it comes to those types of games. Uh, the Bears are now number three in these types of games behind Bryant, who is 3-0 and in sub versus sub games. But the Bears will now advance to 3-1. and That's three fumbles today. And they still won. Streets with an 18-yard reception that gets him over 100 yards receiving for the season. He also had two sacks. Hernandez, five pancakes, no sacks allowed, still zero sacks allowed for his career. Streets also had some pancakes today, unbelievable. Gonzalez with the pick six, Walker had an interception. The Bears defense was really impressive here today. The Aggies defense only put up, or only allowed 17 points. But they dominated in most of this game. First half was just a crapshoot. I mean, <laughs> the Bears could do no wrong in the first half. But once the Aggies defense settled in, I mean, they, they held them to nothing. But the two punt returns for touchdowns for Darius Mitchell and the pick six for the non subscriber halfback out there playing some corner. I mean, that, that was just too much for the Aggies to overcome. Without those three touchdowns, folks, it's a close game. They're only going to win it by three points without those scores. Ligurski, two touchbacks on punts today. He has one heck of a leg. The Bears only one kick return, and that was on an onside return. And Darius Mitchell, there we go. 83 yarder today, and I believe the other one was a 62 yarder. Mitchell, Gonzalez, Brady, players of the game for the Bears. Jackson, Brown, and Chubb, players of the game. For the Aggies, and like I said before, Idaho State will travel to take on ninth-ranked Cal Poly in our next game. That'll be out tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys enjoyed this matchup. I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take it easy, guys.